Thanks for watching. I have another tip for you. Uh, this is for Gmail. One of the reasons why I advocate that you use Gmail for my social media program. Um, and if you also read my policy on Twitter and just how I use Twitter, you would know that um, I tell you that I look at every single person that follows me, so I know that if I should follow them back or not, or uh, whatever. So, I've already started this, so I'm in the middle of my workflow, but I want to show you. First, look at all these tabs on top. There's about a dozen tabs up here. And then look at the at these emails that are here. So, what I do is I create a special Gmail filter or search that says, if the email is unread and it says it's not following you at not a grouch, then show me that. So I'm going to hit that. Now these are all the ones for these dates that I haven't had a chance to look at. So I'm simply going to click on each one and open that and um, move to the next one. Open it in a new tab. And then again. And then again. Now if the, if the person looks like an a obvious spammer, then I don't follow them. Like that person, I'm not going to follow them. This person, I'm going to check. So, and I continue to do that until I get to the very bottom. When I get to the very bottom, then I go and I move through all the tabs that I've opened. And then when, I, when I'm finished with a bunch of them, I do the search again. And then this is going to show a bunch of other new people. So, and then I go to the very last tab and I decide if I want to follow this person. And if they're following me, so in this case they were not following me, so the chances are that they're too impatient or they're a spammer <clears throat> because they follow people and expect to follow back. And if you don't follow back within eight hours or something, they unfollow you. So I'm not interested in him. And that's how you just continue down the list until you have a good um, understanding of how to pick a person, how to determine if you want to follow them back. But the tip about the search, so do a search, and then just go down the list, open it in a new tab. To open it in a new tab, press Control or Alt uh, or Command Option, Command on your Mac and click. And what that does is it opens up in a new tab. Uh, that works for Chrome and Firefox. So, thanks for watching. That was another quick tip for more productivity. Um, and that relates to Twitter, of course, and <clears throat> my social media uh, workshop. So, that's how you're able to manage a lot of people quickly. Okay, have a nice day.